jeans and tops from Sears or Spring Wardrobe Essentials on sale this week. First, jeans that fit just $10.99. They fit your shape as well as your size. And you save $5. Add the old cotton top, now just $6.99. Cool comfort and permapress too, and you save $3. Jeans in western and cinch waist, tops in stripes and solids. These wardrobe essentials are on sale through Saturday at Sears, where America shops for value. Hello everyone, and welcome to my little history lesson of Sears. We shall start. Well, as you can see, I am walking around a Sears in my area. This Sears is, um, I would say it was pr pretty populated for um, a normal Sears store because usually they're pretty dead nowadays. And, you know, th that's why I kind of documented it. So, um, hmm. Let's see how uh, we should start this. Sears is an American chain of department stores founded by Richard Warren Sears and Alva Curtis Roebuck in 1886. Formerly based at the Sears Tower in Chicago and currently headquartered in Hoffman Estates, Illinois. Fun fact. Actually, I mean, these all are fun facts. <laughs> Best song ever. But it began as a mail ordering catalog company and began opening retail locations in 1925. The company was bought by the American big box chain Kmart in 2005. In the terms of domestic revenue, Sears was the largest retailer in the United States until October 1989, when Walmart surpassed the record. Sears operates divisions in Canada and Mexico as well. You know what I was doing? At the moment, Sears is about 131 years old. Since, you know, it was founded in 1886, that, that, that pretty much um, rounds it up. Nice. Oh, and of course, the uh, number of locations in 2017 are around 651. I believe that's just the U.S., though. I'm not very sure. I, I should probably do my research a little better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, one thing you can't forget is um, considering Sears is not in the best position right now, um, yeah, there's a lot of stores that are shutting down. I'm not sure about the exact number, but there are many stores that have been shutting down in the last few years. I think the start was around 2013 or so. But, um, the revenue right now is, in the U.S. at least, $17.36 uh, That was in 2014. But their uh, operating income in the U.S. is around 920 million. Uh, that, that was also in 2014. I'm sure you all know this because you know it's like it's like you know Walmart or something like that. It's like a big department store. But the products are clothing, footwear, bedding, furniture, jewelry. Beauty products, you can't forget those, and appliances, housewares, tools, and you can't forget the electronics. Let's just do some more little fun facts about Sears. Not really fun facts, but necessarily, it's just... Well, I remember back in um, 1978 or 1979, there was a set of Cantina Star Wars creatures. They're actually very rare nowadays. Actually, there's one that's rare, I believe. But, uh, yeah, there was, you know, Star Wars uh, Kenner action figures. And they were kind of, um, they're, they're series exclusives. They're, and that's one of the huge reasons why they were so rare is, yeah, like, Sears used to have, um, 
a lot of exclusives, kind of like Walmart, like, I think Target has a few exclusives. It's kind of like that, you know, like, like, you know, Blu-rays sometimes have exclusives, or something like that, you know. You know, as you can see by this, uh, filming that I did, uh, Sears is pretty up-to-date. Like, there's some problems, like the fact that, like, the computers, like, I'm pretty sure those computers are from at least the early 90s, like... <laughs> Like, they just look Thank awful. You. I had to, I had to, um, like, they're, I don't know, like, they're all yellowing, and the, you could tell by the, the pixel, like, I don't know, like, something about it, it's just, like, so old school, and you feel like you're in, like, some kind of 90s type, uh, store. I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty good with most things with making it look modern, but some things, some little things, uh, I do have to... Like smidge on like smidge complaint. Yeah, I'd say this one is doing pretty well right now. <laughs> but you know, I do gotta compliment this specific Sears in one way. As you can see by the video, I tried not to get anybody's faces, of course, because I'm awful at editing and I uh, don't really know how to blur faces. But um, well, like you know, as you can see, it was pretty populated for a. Uh, a Sears, because usually I've seen other documentary type videos like this, and usually they're pretty dead. Like they're like completely dead. I feel like it's more the location though. Like considering, yeah, it's it's usually probably the location because this is pretty a, uh, it's at a uh, a pretty popular mall, and yeah, as you can see, I'm exiting the uh, store, and I really appreciate. Um, all you watching this and have fun watching this one little commercial at the end and I love you all that shot though <laughs>